يعطيكم العافيه الله يعافيك السلام عليكم كيف الصحه الحمد لله شو يا ماما ان شاء الله يا اهلا وسهلا يا اهلا وسهلا اهلا وسهلا فيك اهلا وسهلا في الدنيا يلا نحن دقيقتين وبنبدا مش اكثر بتمنى على الجميع اذا بيقدروا يحطوا اساميهم صحيحه لحتى نقدر نعرف مين اللي حضر كرمال السيرتيفيكيشن لو سمحتوا اوكي عظيم فاذا رح نبدا بعد في كم شخص ما ما فاتوا على الـ على الويبينار بس بجميع الاحوال رح رح نبدا التريننج سيشن ايه الشيء <تصفيق> 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 Thank you. Okay, great. So I, I will start my. Uh, 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 can you can you close your microphone in in case you don't have any question to ask, please? Okay, thank you. So I will present myself, Wissam Dakash. Uh, I will be conducting uh, a series of webinars uh, from today. Uh, six weeks. Uh, Uh, each time, each week, uh, I will consider uh, one uh, one uh, software or one. We talk about robots. The important thing. Mr. Rida, you need to put the microphone. Mr. Rida. Okay. So uh, uh, my my first webinar today is uh, about robotics and how to teach uh, a robot. especially in, in distance learning. And this is the great issue that we will uh, start today. Uh, since uh, you, will, you will ask me, we don't have the material, students at home don't have the material and so on. That's why I will start my, uh, uh, I will start my uh, presentation. Uh, uh, you, you see, uh, the uh, powerpoint presentation yes yes sahih okay uh, so uh, my uh, my first 
my first uh, uh, slide will be uh, to explore the tools uh, we will use uh, in uh, teaching online robotics. Oof. Sorry, I a message and no, my meeting will end in 10 minutes. I don't know why, maybe had a fit clear back here. Uh, that's why Zadaharna, if uh, the meeting will close in 10 minutes, uh, I'll ask you to join again. Huh? Same link, same code, uh, everything uh, the same. Uh, so, uh, uh, so the tools needed to uh, to teach online robotics and the Sorry. audience. Will... Nam. Sorry, only I have a question. This uh, this meeting uh, will be recorded. Yes, yeah, yes, it's recorded. Yes. Yes, so you can send it to us when the at the end. Of course, I will send it to uh, to everyone uh, subscribed to the uh, session. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, so. Uh, why robotics in the ICT curriculum? It's a major question we should answer. Since today, uh, uh, ICT is considered as a science to be delivered to students from grade three till grade 12, we have and we are obliged in a way to integrate ICT uh, in, the, uh, in the curriculum, not the ICT how to uh, draw or how to type a text or how to make uh, copy and paste, the classic skills uh, for students, but mainly how to code, how to uh, program a robot, the microcontrollers, database, and other skills uh, for ICT. Uh, teaching robotics uh, can start from grade uh, three or grade four till grade 12. And in our curriculum, we, uh, uh, here there is a small error, uh, we, we, we started and we integrated the uh, ro robotics since uh, grade three, uh, grade four till grade nine. We stopped in, in grade nine since uh, in grade 10, we integrated the Arduino uh, uh, microcontroller. So uh, we, we, uh, we suppose that from grade four till grade nine, it's enough for students to, uh, to understand and to uh, manipulate the robot in a clear way. Uh, that's why our curriculum right click includes chapters to teach coding like algorithms, Scratch, Small Basic, and Python. And in addition, uh, students must be exposed to robot and microcontrollers since they are the path to STEAM, to artificial intelligence, to uh, 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 IoT, uh, and to machine learning. So uh, the main answer to why we are supposed to teach students coding robotics and microcontrollers, because they are the right path and the secure path to uh, STEAM, uh, artificial intelligence, IoT, and machine learning. Uh, now the main question is, is it possible to teach robotics at home? Uh, the answer is, of course, yes we can teach robotics and we can cover at least 70% from the uh, skills and from the program. And I will show you how. So uh, you as ICT teachers, uh, you must uh, be uh, confident that we can give robotics even if we are uh, on distance learning. The first lesson, now I will start in a practical, uh, uh, the practical way how to teach uh, uh, robotics uh, as distance learning. The first, the first uh, uh, two lessons will be theoretical part, not uh, how to manipulate robot and program robot. And uh, 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 you should convince your students why they should learn uh, 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 robot and programming a robot. It's a major part. I know that for lower grades, uh, they will not understand really uh, uh, why they should learn uh, this uh, uh, science, but for grade seven, eight, and nine, and maybe uh, uh, upper grades, they will understand really why uh, they, they should uh, make it. So uh, uh, the first lesson will be theoretical, uh, and it will consist of a series of questions you as a teacher, you have to uh, uh, ask uh, several questions to students in order to ask them and to know if they are uh, uh, aware of this 
of this science. So, uh, and if you wish, before starting the robotics lesson, you can send them those series of questions uh, uh, by email, on Google Classroom, on Teams, uh, uh, in order to make a research at home and to send mm -hmm. you the homework. And then after you can start your lesson. Your lesson. And those questions uh, are like five. Of course, you can add more. But the main questions could be, what is a robot? They have to define a robot for you. Who created a robot? where we can find a robot the fourth question a lift or a uh, washing machine can be considered as a robot and the fifth question is what are the components of the robot if the students uh, uh, reach uh, those questions and arrive to uh, answer those questions uh, maybe you will get an idea about uh, uh, your student, if they know about robotics, uh, yes or no. After that, you will send them a link. I will I will copy it and send it to you uh, on the on the chat. Uh, so uh, I, I'm sending the the, the link uh, on the chat. You you will you will watch it later on. And uh, by the way, uh, this presentation will be sent to you via Dropbox. I will send you the link later on. So this, this video, I will not lose time uh, by showing you this video, will explain how robot is uh, integrated in, in industry, uh, in manufacturing, in medicine, and how it's uh, developing more and more. So they will be convinced that it's really nice to start uh, uh, learning robotics uh, from from this uh, from this age, and uh, of course the answer to uh, where robots are used it's, it will be after this video, which is in industry, medicine, services, and other other uh, other domains. Then after, so this is will this will be your first uh, your first lesson. It will be like a, a kind of discussion, questions, and answers uh, uh, that you will uh, go through with your students by showing them this video or another video in order to uh, make them aware about this, this technology. The second lesson will be uh, a quick review about what was, what was learned la la last uh, period, then directly uh, after you go through uh, uh, the definition of the input and output devices in order to compare them to the component of the robot. Uh, of course, uh, uh, your students must learn about input and output device in the computer, like the scanner, the mouse, the printer, the uh, speakers, and so on. So all those peripherals and devices are input and output devices. And for the robot, we have what we call input and output devices. So once you make a flashback to the input and output devices to the computer, you can go through and uh, 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 attack the uh, second part of this lesson, which is the uh, components of a robot. I'm talking in general, not for a specific brand, okay? So even if it is a real robot used in industry, to manufacture uh, uh, cars or uh, cellular cellular phones, okay? Uh, we uh, uh, the robot, or if it's an educational robot, so uh, we consider that robots are formed of five parts. Uh, please, uh, I have less than one minute, okay? Uh, the session will uh, will terminate. I don't know why. So I'll ask you to, uh, to go back again and to link to this session, same link, same password in order to continue it, okay? So I will continue by explaining the uh, component of a robot, the brain, uh, which is the computer, the processor, the input output device, the input, the output device, which are the motors, the screen and the speakers, the input device, which are the sensors, the skeleton, the shape of the robot, and finally, the software. I will end the session 
and hope that the 34 persons uh, will will join again okay yeah see you see you in in uh, like few minutes